Hello everybody, let's talk about ostinato. I'm Jonathan from Musical Matter, and those repeating phrases that you hear in so much music today, whether it's film music, video game music, rock, pop, reggae, electronic music especially, ostinatos, you hear them everywhere. They're an incredibly useful compositional device, and they're not really that hard to implement into your own writing. They can help sort of add a layer of suspense and motion to a piece of music, or in some styles, they can really help to cement the groove and give the listener something to latch onto. So a quick dictionary definition of ostinato would be something like, an ostinato is a repeated musical phrase that's used throughout a piece of music or a section of a piece of music. So enough talking, let's write some ostinatos. Okay, we'll pull up GarageBand here, and I've got a clarinet here and some strings, and let's put in an ostinato. Now, ostinatos work very similarly to pedals, in that they can be quite harmonically ambiguous, especially if you use as few notes as possible. So let's write an ostinato just using one note here. All right. That's it. We've got a repeating pattern. We'll just quantize it. And now we can pretty much do whatever we like over the top of this. Okay, so it's wide open, harmonically speaking. Uh, this clarinet is just playing one single note and the pattern is repeated. What if we try adding a note? So now we've got a two note ostinato and we'll do something on just a minor third. All right, try and keep it in time. Nice. Right, let's add some uh, strings underneath. Here we go. So the possibilities are endless. So these two ostinatos that we've just looked over are sort of harmonically ambiguous. There's few notes, they're not very uh, prescriptive in describing any sort of harmony, but what if we want to describe some harmony with our ostinato, like taking a m uh, major triad, and then putting a major triad into some kind of ostinato. So how about something like this? All right, very simple. Of course, now, in this ostinato, the clarinets here are highlighting all the notes of a D major triad. So now we're being, we're being pulled into this D major tonality, um, and it's gonna kind of limit what we can do over the top of this. So let's try something out here. All right, kind of sounds like ABBA. Okay, well, let's try uh, an ostinato that's using the notes of a minor triad. So how about a B flat minor triad? Let's slow the tempo down a little bit here, shall we? Uh, how about that? Cool. Oh, that's major, we want minor. All right, try one more time. Sticking to 4-4, four, four. but we will repeat.
hint it there. Here we go. So we've got a B flat minor thing going on in the clarinets, this ostinato. What can we do above it, below it? Build something around it. So this is going to be pulling us into this B flat minor tonality. It might be quite hard to escape um, this harmonic space. It's all right. It's functional, but it's not inspired. Um, so now let's talk about layering ostinatos on top of each other. This is a great compositional uh, technique. We'll start with the clarinets again, and let's just go for a single note ostinato. All right. Oh, no, let's make the tempo a little bit faster here. How about this? All right. Yeah, there we go. Cool, so we've repeated this. Tell you what, let's add in a piano. Get a piano sound. Cool. What do we got here? Yeah, that sounds all right. Let's try recording that. That wasn't where we started. Where did we start? A D minor. Triad, here we go. Why don't we add some nice low notes in the strings here? How much? Uh, yeah, some kind of descending scale thing like that. How about that? Here we go. So you can already see something is starting to take shape here, whatever that thing is. Maybe building up to some kind of um, climax musically. I'm not sure. But it works. We've got three ostinatos here being stacked on top of each other. We could keep going and going and going and going until we get an absolute mess of sound. But right now it works. Yeah. Three ostinatos. Okay, so why don't we look at some examples of ostinatos um, out in the wild there. So, of course, a very famous example of an ostinato is something like Maurice Ravel's Bolero where we have that snare drum going ra ta 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 and uh then our low strings playing that boom 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 so let's just listen to the first little bit here yeah so something like that I'm playing the wrong note. Um, yeah, so quite famous example. And of course, that 
poor snare drum player has to do that ostinato for like 17 minutes, I think. The song is, um, yeah, quite an athletic feat, I think. Uh, how about Queen? Another one bites the dust. Very famous bass line there. Here it is. Hmm. There we go. All right, so. Bass line, ostinato there. Uh, you'll hear ostinato in the bass instruments quite a lot, actually. It's kind of a role that the bass instruments fit into very well. Uh, how about the White Stripes, Seven Nation Army? Just a quick aside, if you've made it this far in the video, then thank you very much. I do appreciate you being here with me. Um, if you'd like to show your support for Musical Matter, then please hit that subscribe button and all that good stuff. Let's get back to the lesson. Okay, so what is that? Yeah, there we go. Of course, Jack White playing that on the guitar. I think maybe with an octave pedal or some kind of effects going through. Um, here's something a little obscure. Kraftwerk, home computer. Yeah, we got some beeps and boops, but we're going to hear a bass line on the synth. Yeah, there we go, so. Just a repeating pattern. It's an ostinato. And there are many, many other examples. You'll hear ostinati just about everywhere. So listen out for it, and next time you hear one, put some suggestions down in the comments of uh, maybe some obscure ostinati that you've, uh, you've heard out in the wild. So in conclusion, ostinati are everywhere you look, or listen, perhaps. As I mentioned earlier, uh, they're really easy to incorporate into your writing, so do some experimenting, see what works for you, see what doesn't work for you, and I wish you happy composing. Thank you, I've been Jonathan for Musical Matter, and I'll see you in the next video.